She was the first woman to earn a physics degree, the first to teach at the Sorbonne University in Paris, the first to win the Nobel Prize, and to this day, the only woman to get two Nobel Prizes. Can you believe it? Maria was born in a family of academics in Poland in the mid-19th century. She learned to read by herself at four years old, and by the time she was ten, she had shown some very impressive academic results. When Maria was fifteen, she discovered that she couldn't continue her studies any further after finishing school, as the Tsar forbade any women from getting any higher education. Undeterred from getting her degree, she made a deal with her sister, Bronya. Bronya would go to Paris, while Maria would work as a tutor and try to send her sister money so that she could study medicine. Once Bronya finished her studies, it was Maria's turn to escape to Paris, and she began her studies at the Sorbonne. She studied day and night in a tiny room where there was only a foldable bed, a chair, and a table. She even changed her name from Maria to a French Marie and tried to learn French from scratch. Living off of only bread and tea, she got her degrees in physics and mathematics. This was about when she met the love of her life, Pierre Curie. They both shared a passion for science. Their love life consisted of long bike rides and doing research together. A real power couple. Maria's passion stayed with her all the way until she died, with her death being by radiation from doing her work. To this day, her papers, other belongings, and even her body are still radioactive. No matter what stands in your way, if you really do care about something, you can achieve it. After all, that's what Marie Curie did.